the most important things when getting a gold grill. All right. I got gold with everything. Million dollar mine, mine. Whole lot of chain, chain. Doing everything. Got my chain game playing down. Flexing off the chain down. Fame will make it change out. Just try to stay the same. Got my whip on them things. All right. So redo this video. This a redone video. I don't even think. I think I made this video, but I don't know if I put it out. All right. So this a remake. The most important things when getting a gold grill. All right, so these are the most important steps above all. I know it's like steps like going to get your money and all that stuff and checking your prices and all that. Nah, these are the most important steps, all right? So I'm gonna put, them, put you on point, all right? So the most important thing with getting the grill is for one, making sure your jeweler know what the fuck he doing. Flat out, you know what I mean? I'm not finna be sugarcoating this or nothing, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of new uh, grill makers out here right now that's popping up out of everywhere, just like weed grills, you know what I mean? It's like, it was a little point in time where we had that kill and then all these new grills, we start making loud, not really loud. I don't know what the hell this shit really is that's going on, it's a bunch of bullshit, all right? It's kind of like out of 10 people, you might have one person with the best of the best, you know what I mean? And y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, now, the same thing with the grills. It's a lot of new grill makers, so just be careful with that. Make sure you get somebody that know exactly what they're doing. The teeth fit right. They're not too, they're not hurting bad. The cuts in there right. They're using the right material, you know what I mean? And customer service on point. You know what I mean? So majority have, if that, if not the customer service on point, all the rest of the things is important, all right? That's the main thing. All right, the second part, when when getting fitted for a grill, I don't know why everybody don't take this important, but this is one of the most important parts of getting a grill. Like I said, this is one of the most important parts of getting a grill, all right? I got all type of traffic going on, y'all. This is the hood, so. But anyway, <clears throat> the second thing is the mold. When you mold, when you putting that mold on your teeth, that shit is the most important that's gonna determine how well your grill fit you feel me is putting that mold on so a lot of people like to order their grills and do that stuff overline that's probably why y'all having bad results because if this your first time doing this and you haven't been doing you haven't done this and you haven't done over 10 people molds to know what's good and what's bad you feel what i'm saying this your first time molding your teeth and all this stuff so sometimes you're not gonna know what to look for is key points in making the mold. You feel me? So you're not gonna know what to look for, even if you're looking at it. You might, you might, it might look good to you, but somebody that's professional gonna know this is not right. You need to redo it. You know what I mean? So I would say your best chances would be to, if you're gonna do it by yourself, order you two or three mold kits. You know what I mean? And stick them on there, bam, bam, and then do three of them. Out of one, one of them out of three gonna come out the best one. All right, unless you just fucking up three times, you just don't need it. All right. So anyway, or uh, you need to go somewhere else that know what they're doing so y'all can get y'all teeth on point. Now I'm telling y'all this so y'all won't be fucking y'all teeth up because that's a lot of reason why people TV end up breaking and all that stuff because the mold is not right. That, that mold, getting your mold done is the most important part of the two process period. It's putting that mold part in your mouth, all right? That's going to determine if it's going to feel good or feel like shit, too big or too small. All right, so that's the main thing. All right, so the third most important thing is determining how you gonna maintenance your grill. What type of person are you? Are you the type of person that's gonna super maintenance your grill or are you the type of person that's gonna be lazy with how you maintenance and how you take care of your grill, all right? So if you planning on babying your grill, I'm talking about everywhere you go, you got your grill put in a little case and a hard case and all that stuff. You can get all those things like uh, the permanent cuts, the open face, uh, the bars, all that little flimsy stuff. You know what I mean? That's cool. If you the type that's gonna be having your grills in your pocket, uh, leaving them down everywhere, you might sit on them, they might drop off your lap. You know what type of person you are. If the same thing go with any other jewelry, you know what I'm saying? So if you that type of person, make sure you just get the solid grill. You don't want to have no lines, no extra cuts, or nothing like that, because you want to make sure it's able to take the damage that you're gonna be putting to it. Cause you're gonna be sitting on it, you're gonna be putting it down, you're gonna probably step on it a couple of times, all this stuff. So make sure that you get the solid grill so it can take all that beat up, the abuse. 
feel me? Alright, so the fourth thing is how often are you gonna clean your grill? Do you want your grill cleaned all the time? Nah. This thing is kind of important too because if you want to be that rush type of clean, uh, you kind of want to get a solid grill. But if you got time, you think you, you relax and you got time or you clean your stuff at night, you know what I mean? You can get the diamond cuts and the diamond uh, splits and all that stuff because that, that cleaning a diamond cut grill takes longer than cleaning a solid grill. Alright? Yep, so that's the important stuff on that, man. You know what I mean? It's really only four important steps is how you gonna clean. Now, like I said on that last one, uh, when cleaning your grill, uh, make sure you get the one that's, that don't got all the cuts in there. Because when you got like diamond cuts, any type of imprints, designs, all that stuff, when stuff get in between those cracks, it's hard to get it out of it. When you get a solid grill, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because in between the splits and all that, it's going to be hard. And then not just the splits, the depths, when it go like when you get your mo your back mo your motors, molars, whatever you call it, the, the parts where you chew your meat. Once you get those, you're going to, uh, in the little dips of them, it's going to be hard to clean. It's not going to be that easy. So just imagine you got a million diamond cuts. And it's all dirt in those diamond cuts. That shit look ugly, bro. You know what I mean? So, I'm just putting y'all on gang. You feel me? So, unless you got time to do that, then do your thing. You know what I mean? So, remember, the first one, make sure you got a good jeweler. The second one, make sure the mold is done right. The uh, third one is to uh, determine on how you're going to take care of your grill to know if you're going to get open face cuts any flimsy grill or versus the solid grills you know what i mean i call them flimsy solid solids is a solid open face uh perm cuts all that stuff them flimsies you know what i mean even a single grills or a two-piece grill is almost considered as a flimsy if you get a y'all will know once you get them you know what i mean if you don't believe me get it you understand it's that simple all right so that being said big shout out to everybody uh, I love y'all for paying attention and staying uh, tuned with your boy and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Y'all keep doing y'all, stay safe out here. Don't let the demons or the wrong, negative, anything that's negative, nigga, is demon. You feel me? Yeah, y'all know what negative, a uh, pipe people try to say wrong ain't wrong, what well, wrong is wrong, and right is right, flat out. We all know that, all right? So don't fucking play yourself or play nobody else who's trying to be on some whatever you're trying to be on, all right? So whatever it is. Anyway, major love. Y'all stay cool, stay smooth. Life too short to be on bullshit, so keep your mind clear. Peace.